Hey guys, this is Odd1 Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. We're actually back on the free to play today because I've not given it away yet, but I want to talk to you about something that, you know, I've actually made this recording a while back. Let me move myself to the other side. But I really want to talk to you about Hydra and specifically about a champion that I personally believe is the most underrated or one of the most underrated champions when it comes to Hydra. And that is good old Elder Scarg over here, okay? There's, uh, you know, his kit does not seem impressive or like he just seems weird. He seems like, I don't know, people I think just do not talk about him enough and he definitely deserves some love. And the funny thing about him is I actually found his value of his kit on the free to play account because well unfortunately i do not have them on the main account if i had them on the main account i would definitely try and make a better video on it but i only have them on the free to play so the only thing that i can show you guys is around that i've done i think it was a few weeks back when we had a different rotation because th this rotation right now and the reason why i cannot do uh, like re-record the video is because of the fact that what i want to showcase about him uh does not have that head as a starting head right so yeah anyway uh actually i did i just noticed never mind so what i want to talk i'm all over the place guys i'm sorry it's early morning i'm preparing to do a live stream for like a few hours like in in about an hour from when this video goes live at 10 a.m uh utc or 6 a.m est i'll be live on twitch i'll be playing the first day of dragon that i'm really looking forward to it because it's an amazing game i just i just love it so yeah but i want to talk about elder scar and why do i think he's actually really good well he is really good for somebody that's not looking about end game pushing crazy stuff like okay perfectly min maxing things he's kind of the same way as the you know my jizzo is jizzo is really a good specialist because he can be the mischief tank and he can put a provoke for that of dk he has those two roles and he can make uh, you know cover them perfectly well uh, elder skark falls kind of in the same uh in the same spot because of his kit and that is the fact that instead of being like a mischief tank and a provoke champion he can be your mischief tank and at the same time he can be your damage dealer aka your hp burner okay i know it's a little bit tricky and it's like hard to combine those but hear me out because it's totally worth it especially because well you can take advantage of his whole kit without even booking him honestly so that, that's the that's the beautiful thing about it or if you do manage to book his a3 you can you know you have give yourself an extra chance of doing that so why am i saying he's a good mischief tank well if i have a look at his a1 attacks one enemy places a 30 percent inc uh, increased speed buff on this champion for two turns if this attack is critical places a 30 percent increased crit rate buff on this champion if this attack is not critical so basically the way that you would use for example elder scarred would be in a team where you don't have a we increase speed okay but you might have a we turn meter booster such as molly tankard whenever she gets hit but molly is kind of like you know she could be a second mischief tank but let's say you don't use molly let's say you want to use arbiter because that's what i'm going to show on the free to play account i'm using him on a team with arbiter okay so having that increased speed that he can place on himself makes that a one unique buff and it can happen every single turn because you're gonna do a one most of the time it goes on for two turns okay increase crit rate same thing it goes on for two turns even though it doesn't say here but it goes on for two turns okay so that's the a1 that makes him the mischief tank give himself a blood shield ring okay blood shield uh, ring uh, amulet banner whatever you have to give himself the extra buff that's just makes it easier then another thing that well i do not have on him yet uh yet unfortunately but that's gonna help it make it even more you know uh safe i guess to make him the mischief tank is to give him lightning cage same way that i showed in previous videos of molly having lightning cage well give him the lightning cage uh blessing you just see one star okay that's it if you manage to get it to a uh three star it's a little bit better because it helps when there's termiter filled but even if you have a one star every time they get a buff or like something you know you get a buff randomly stolen he gets the lightning cage to give himself that extra buff so he will be the mischief tank okay so that's that's the side of the mischief tanking for him now let's walk let's look at the the other stuff about this uh the, his kit when i say he's a good damage dealer well let's check this one out attacks one enemy three times places an extra hit for each buff or debuff on the targets so it doesn't have to be three buffs or three 
uh, debuffs, okay? So not three buffs, three debuffs, but it can be a combination of the two. So let's say there's decreased defense out there, and I don't know, Hex, and then there's the Poison Cloud, okay? Let's say Poison Cloud goes up. Well, guess what this one does? This one places three extra hits and then places AOE HP button on everyone. Even if he weak hits, he still places AOE HP button everywhere. Doesn't matter. Like, the only thing that can happen, it can be resisted. It can be 3%. So, even though he would do this skill on somebody who has the Poison Cloud and two debuffs, he, if there's any other buffs, like, I don't know, if there's an ally protection, increase attack, he can remove those buffs, okay? Or steals them. Well, it steals all the buffs on the target after the attack. Yeah, so he either steals them or removes them. And he places HP burn. This HP burn goes through the poison cloud. That's massive. That's amazing for a champion like this, okay? And then we have the A3. This one's not as helpful. So the way that I suggest building him is just with A1 and A2. Because he places increased defense on himself. Then he does some weird stuff like with the fear true fear that do not work decrease speed if targets have shields which really gonna happen this debuffs cannot be resisted but this one would not uh would not really work i wish this provoke was not just legendary only if, if he had a provoke as well they swapped this to or like made it count for hydra to work as well he would be amazing because then you would have this on a three-third cooldown and perfection but even like this just having him do the A1 and the A2 for damage, for, for mischief targeting, just makes him a perfect champion. The only thing, obviously, you would have to do is build him something like this. You know, enough accuracy, to, enough resistance to run the, to survive, or to, to survive, to resist the steal from the mischief, from the head of mischief, enough accuracy to land his uh, debuffs, some speed, and then just mostly give him survivability. You can give him crit, you cannot, I would say just don't give him crit because most of his damage will come from the HP burns. Even though he can actually hit, most of his damage will come from HP burn because it's going to be hard to give him resist, accuracy, speed, damage, and all that. So just focus about the resist that you need, focus about the accuracy that you need, give him some speed in there to make it easier to be a mischief tank, make sure he's like the slowest in your team if you can because that way he's always going to have the most buffs, okay? And she's just going to be able to shine for you. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to play the round that I have... Uh, over here with the team that I tested, and I'm just gonna show it. Don't expect crazy now, but it's just I recorded this for the sake of showing you guys how he can actually, you know, how you can take advantage of his kit. Okay, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna make play that at two times speed. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And like I said, I'll be live on stream on Twitch playing Dragon there in about an hour. So if you want to come and say hello, start playing this game with me because it's really awesome. Join, but yeah, this is gonna be it for the video today, guys. Thank you all for watching. If you do enjoy my content, as always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel to see when I upload next, and I'm gonna see you on the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye, guys.